This is part two of the mines that we went and visited in Dolomica, Georgia. The second mine is the Curson Gold Mine. This one's a little different from the previous, so I'll break it down along with some other information about the town that I did not include in the first video. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue <laughs> <Keep> coins. <laughs> All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. Now the Carissa gold mine is a different from the other one. You don't actually go get to tour the gold mine. You tour an, a mostly a, a small outdoor museum with artifacts and information from the gold mining history. You cannot uh, tour the gold mine because it is still an act of production. While sharing these pictures and videos of some of the Things you get to see here. Here's a short audio clip that I took that explains the mine. And that is when we became an open pit mining operation. Open pit mining is where everything is done above ground and heavy equipment is used to remove layers of the earth to expose the gold bearing quartz. And this here stamp mill is an original uh, stamp mill dating back to the 1800s that is still operational. And this stamp mill here requires the use of molasses or sorghum to uh, lubricate the camshaft because if oil is used oil makes gold float so they use the syrup for lubrication and then these here are some large machinery a uh, hammer mill shaker table things that uh, break down the ore and separate the gold from the ore Pretty cool to get to see a uh, large machinery up close like this if you don't get to see it very often, especially when it is uh, older machinery like this. Pretty cool. And as part of the tour that you pay for, you get a sample pan of gold to pan through and a sample bucket of gems to sift through, which is always fun. I, I do find these uh, fun. Um, the uh, I'm not an expert at gold panning, so hopefully I got all the gold. I think I did, uh, just like the other gold mine. They did have a uh, extra buckets and and uh, uh, extra pay dirt you could uh, get and pan through there. And one thing that's really cool that I didn't get to do this time is you can get a tractor scoop of gold ore to process and rent a trommel or gold cube. To process that ore through and that's a machine that runs your gold uh, ore through and separates uh, with water and separates out the ore from the gold through some mats and some miners moss if you haven't seen any of those before it's like a gold hog so that is something I can look forward to on my next trip to town and the gold mines here and I'll show what we ended up with from our sample pans and buckets here and momentarily but until then, while uh, we're going through the videos here, I wanted to share a little bit about the town. And with our trip was uh, cut a little short, unfortunately. So I didn't get to go tour any of the other parts of the town. They have a nice little town museum, gold mine museum downtown, some nice shops, some places to eat and stay in, really cool things. Um, outside of town, they do have a lot of outdoor trails and um, streams some waterfalls recreation activities and inside and outside of town and the Appalachian Mountains actually start down in that area so there's some really fun stuff to do in town and around town there are some other towns uh, that are nice to visit and with a lot of cool things to do as well and uh, here is our gold that we got out of our pans and the gems we got out of our two buckets quite a good amount for what what we paid for so definitely well worth it there and here is i did a little uh video of the gemstones and stuff that you can find in some of these buckets in 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 the area here and one more thing before i wrap up the video here the due to the amount of people and the volume of gold in the area the u.s actually stood up a mint in delanago georgia and it was open from 1839 through 1861 and they minted gold coins uh the two two dollar fifty gold coin the five dollar and the ten dollar gold coins in the area and those coins sported the d mint mark for delanago georgia this uh 
Mint Mark was later reused for the Denver Mint when that opened up in the early 1900s. So you can get gold coins that were minted in Georgia just like you can get coins from Carson City and uh, New Orleans. So if you're ever in North Georgia area and uh, in and around Dahlonega, the Appalachian Mountains there and the other small towns and are able to get over to Dahlonega and check out the mines and stuff, it is definitely worth your time and effort. And one of these days I'll get back to uh, enjoy the mines and maybe tour the town a little bit more. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. It helps me out. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.